Government at all levels in Nigeria have been charged to address the challenges facing women in the country and ensure that their sexual reproductive health rights are guaranteed. This demand is against the backdrop of the untold hardship and difficulties experienced by a majority of women in the country due to their inability to access health services and other inhibitions. Nigeria is a signatory to many international rights-based mechanisms, particularly on sexual policies in relation to law, population, human rights, as well as sexual and reproductive health of women. Nigerian women are currently facing a lot of challenges when it comes to their sexual and reproductive health and rights. And some of them include um, harmful traditional practices that are still going on in Nigeria. Um, thankfully, the VAP Act, criminalizes um, female genital mutilation. <laughs> However, we know that it is still widely practiced in the country. Um, we have other challenges also like lack of access to information and services that will enable women to space their children and you know, to give birth to the number of children that they want to and within the time frame that they want to as well. And if they don't want to have any children, um, they should also have access to services that will enable that. Just that you're a woman, you have to go through extra miles, extra orders, just to be able to exist. So it's a lot of problems. It affects our psychology, our, our mental health, our physical and spiritual health. And then we now wonder why a lot of people are frustrated and a lot of people are carrying, you know, it, it's a lot of depression going on. And these are faced by women and girls who do not have all this easy access to their sexual health and reproductive rights. So I, I, I can imagine how it feels. It's a, it's a very bad state of, of mind. When 50% or over 50% of your population are denied their human rights, in this instance women, because they're the ones who are most impacted by the lack of delivery of reproductive rights, then you are taking away 50% of your population's ability to contribute to nation building, to contribute to our economic mainstay and an economic advancement. And that is why it is critical that these rights, which are human rights, should be enjoyed by all. In dignity, in confidence, to express themselves, to be happy, and all of that. These are really, really critical. To take steps, active steps, to respect to protect and to fulfill the reproductive health rights of women because issues of reproductive health rights are human rights issues. They are not just issues that we can decide to either give or not give. They are human rights issues. And when these services are not available, they, that, it now translates to a violation of the rights to life of a woman. It translates to the rights to dignity of a woman. So it, it also translates to several other violations of our rights. Uh, uh, violation to rights to expression, rights to uh, good health, and several other rights can be also attributed to lack of these services when they are not available. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.